Container ships are one of the most commonly used modes of sea transportation for carrying goods between countries. Container ships are large in size and capable of carrying a significant amount of cargo, including electronics and food products. To safely transport a large amount of cargo, container ships must be able to withstand various weather conditions, including storms. Moreover, large waves during a storm can pose a serious threat to container ships. If a container ship cannot navigate through the large waves and storms, the biggest risk is that the ship may capsize or even sink. Therefore, container ships must be designed and equipped with various features to withstand large waves and storms. Today, all modern container ships have double hulls and are better designed compared to other types of ships, such as bulk carriers and tankers. Container ships have a low coefficient of water plane area, ranging from 0.6 to 0.7. This minimizes water resistance and increases the ship's speed to up to 24 knots. The lower hull of modern container ships is designed to accommodate maximum container capacity below deck. Ship designers have shaped these large vessels with a rectangular base. This elongated frame design has a high midship section coefficient, ranging from 0.75 to 0.85. The ship's construction is reinforced with torsion boxes in the midship section. This design enables container ships to withstand wave heights of up to 11 meters. Every aspect of the container ship structure is carefully planned during the initial stages. Once the container ship design is complete, ship designers conduct a testing phase before beginning the construction process. During this testing phase, failures are highly likely, so ship designers continuously evaluate and refine the design. For example, research institutions like the Maritime Research Institute Netherlands Marin, use modeling techniques to simulate real-life scenarios and develop conclusions to enhance future designs. Marin's research facility includes specialized modeling tools to test container ship designs under real-life conditions, such as wind currents, wave heights, and water depths for precise analysis. Researchers have revealed that while container ships are generally stable during navigation, their stability can be compromised by extreme weather conditions like storms and high waves. In addition to Marin, the University of Iowa also applies simulation-based design techniques combined with wave basin testing. These simulations have been conducted for many years to ensure the safety of container ships. Once the container ship design is approved and undergoes rigorous testing, the construction process begins in shipyards. The construction process starts by forming the ship's structure into various sections. Large steel sheets are cut to size and shaped under high pressure. These steel plates are then welded together to create sub-assemblies that are reassembled into large sections of the ship. These sections are lifted onto dry docks, where they are welded together to form the ship's structure and interior components are installed. Subsequently, the assembled sections of the ship go through a painting process and protective coatings are applied to the exterior. Other components like rudders and propellers are cast through sand casting. Once the rudders and propellers are completed, the next step is to assemble these parts inside the ship. When all parts are in place, the container ship is ready to sail and transport goods to various countries. To keep the ship in a horizontal position while unloading cargo at the port, container ships are equipped with an anti-healing system. 
The anti-healing system is used to detect the ship's tilt angle and automatically balance the ship by pumping water into tanks on the opposite side. The anti-healing system consists of a main control panel, pump start panel and anti-healing pump. However, the anti-healing system is only effective during cargo unloading at the port, as it does not work efficiently when the container ship is sailing in high waves. Nevertheless, container ships are also influenced by balance points on the vessel. These balance points determine the ship's stability. One of the causes of accidents at sea is ship crew members failing to consider the ship's stability calculations. Therefore, ship crew members must always take these balance points into account. If the crew pays attention to these balance points, the container ship is more likely to withstand adverse weather conditions at sea. Not only container ships, but also other types of vessels are equipped with various stability devices to withstand high waves and storms. One of these devices is bilge keels, which are fin-like structures that are fixed and mounted on the ship's hull. Typically, the length of bilge keels is around two-thirds of the ship's length. The stability effect of bilge keels increases as the ship travels at higher speeds. Apart from bilge keels, another stability device on ships is the active rolling tank, which is a tank used to stabilize the ship's position when it tilts to the left or right. The active rolling tank extends across the ship's width. When the ship tilts to the left or right, the water in the tank flows and significantly reduces the ship's rolling motion. There are two types of anti-rolling tanks on ships, active and passive. Active rolling tanks have a more complex mechanism, using pumps to transfer water between the two tanks. Furthermore, another stability device for container ships is the active fin stabilizer. It is similar to bilge keels in shape and is mounted on the ship's hull. However, the difference is that the active fin stabilizer can be controlled and moved in various directions using a sensitive gyro system. This device is designed to dampen the rolling or swaying motion of container ships. When the ship is rolling or swaying, the sensitive gyro system sends signals to the actuating system, which is electrohydraulic. This system is less effective when the ship is sailing at speeds below 10 knots or approximately 18 kilometers per hour. Modern container ships are also equipped with advanced weather monitoring systems that include weather radar, satellites and weather monitoring boxes to provide situational awareness. With this system in place, the likelihood of maritime accidents is significantly reduced. Through this advanced weather system, ship crews can access real-time meteorological data, including wind speed, wave height, temperature and barometric pressure. This data is continuously updated every five minutes, allowing ship crews to anticipate potential hazards and make appropriate decisions to ensure the safety of all crew members and cargo being transported. The weather system can also provide early warnings of approaching storms, allowing ship crews to quickly and accurately adjust the ship's speed or seek safe harbour. This advanced weather system has helped minimise the risk of collisions and ship capsizes. On the other hand, floating instrument platforms enable better data collection due to their unique design compared to conventional ships. These unique ships can rotate vertically then to a horizontal position and back to vertical. On top of these platforms, there are research facilities equipped with 90 submerged holes below the water. This capability allows the platform to withstand harsh sea conditions while remaining stable. When in a vertical position, the platform remains buoyant in a stable condition using ballast tanks. 
these floating platforms have become invaluable assets, particularly as research centers in turbulent oceanic regions. The journey of container ships at sea is not always smooth. At times, these ships encounter adverse weather conditions. Fortunately, container ships are equipped with advanced technology and equipment and operated by trained and experienced crews. Ship crew members are required to be familiar with emergency procedures on board the vessel. Thus, all personnel on board must undergo rigorous training to ensure they know what to do on the ship. However, unlike other types of training, navigation training is sometimes conducted on actual ships, which carries a significant risk. To simplify the training system, Training centers have developed computer-based simulation centers known as marine simulators. These simulations are useful for enhancing knowledge of ship operation and safety systems. Inside the safety simulator, there is a dedicated control room for training and testing, allowing crew members to face various scenarios. During the testing phase, Crew members practice response strategies without real-world risks. Simulator training rooms are considered safe, low-risk and cost-effective alternatives. All variables such as weather conditions, sea conditions, ship dynamics and countries have been replicated in the computer system for this training. Although it's done through a computer, this simulator still provides a realistic experience and comprehensive assessment of crew performance, competency and emergency procedures. Training through simulation also provides crew members with experience in handling challenging work environments. In this simulation training, various techniques are taught, such as maneuvering in high waves and strong winds. This is where ship crews learn to communicate effectively collaborate and make quick decisions to safely achieve their objectives. Not only container ship crews, but also lifeboat crews must undergo intensive training to be prepared for evacuation and participation in rescue operations when needed. One training institution for lifeboat crews is the Royal National Lifeboat Institution which has developed a comprehensive program for effectively operating these boats, especially in extreme weather conditions. Unlike computer-based simulators, lifeboat crews practice directly in the sea, maneuvering in rough waves. In safety simulations, lifeboat crews also practice rescuing victims in the middle of the ocean. 